Well, hey everybody, it's Saturday afternoon and I hope that you are having a great day wherever you are. Uh, welcome to singing our favorite hymns. Uh, I have had a hymn on my heart for the last couple of days, um, one that may not be uh, as popular as the ones that we have uh, been singing, but one that I first heard on uh, the Gaither Homecoming videos years ago. It was sung by the Christian comedian uh, Chanda Pierce, and uh, when I heard it, I loved it. Uh, she sang it as her personal testimony, and, uh, and I thought, I like it. It is just so uh, simply written, uh, and uh, I looked up the man who uh, wrote it. Uh, his name was William Thompson. He was uh, born in Ohio back in 1847 and began composing songs when he was a teenager. He studied music uh, in Boston and Germany and uh, became successful in marketing his songs and ended up establishing the W.L. Thompson um, Music Publishing Company, which became one of the most successful in his day. Um, his early songs were not... Uh, hymns and they were not uh, gospel songs and one of the most popular that he wrote he said he wrote in 10 minutes and it sold 246,000 uh, copies but during that period of time when he wrote that song Thompson said that uh, there was just something missing in his life and uh, in 1880 he did write a song that you and I recognize and one that we have sung for years and years, and that is softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. And uh, that hymn quickly became popular and one that Dwight L. Moody uh, used a lot in his evangelistic uh, meetings as the uh, invitational hymn. And uh, he said, one day God spoke to my heart uh, through Moody when he said, well, uh, these are good songs that you're writing but why not write some songs that will bless people's hearts and lives and bring them to Christ? And Thompson said, from that day on, I have written only sacred songs, and it's a decision I've never regretted. When Thompson visited um, Moody on uh, his deathbed, uh, Moody told him, Will, I would rather have written softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling than anything I've been able to do in my life. Well, in 1904, Thompson wrote the hymn that we're going to uh, share today, Jesus is All the World to Me. And uh, it is certainly uh, a personal testimony as he reflects on his uh, childlike faith and his trust in Jesus as his best friend. And, um, we think how wonderful it is uh, that we have each other in this life and to have friends in this life means so much but none of us have ever had a friend like jesus none of us have ever had a friend that could do for us what jesus has done and so um we'll sing with him that line uh, when we get to it he wrote eternal life eternal joy. He's my friend. You and I will have each other for only as long as we're here on this earth, but the friend we have in Jesus will have for all eternity. And I know that um, Jesus has given us each other uh, as just a picture of the relationship we have with him. And so we are thankful for each other. I'm so grateful for each one of you today and the blessing you are to my life and the blessing you are in this uh, world we call the Facebook world. Uh, but were it not for Facebook, I just think we would not be in touch like we are today and what a gift that is. Uh, and I love singing these old songs together, these old hymns that bring Jesus near. So I hope you enjoyed this one today. Jesus is all the world to me, my life, my joy, my all. He is my 
strength from day to day without him I would fall when I am sad to him I go no other friend can cheer me so when I am sad he makes me glad he's my friend and Jesus is all the world to me my friend in trial sore I go to him for blessings and he gives them Since the sun shine and the rain, he sends the harvest golden grain, sunshine and rain, harvest of grain. He's my friend, and Jesus is all the Could I this friend deny when he's so true to me? Following him, I know I'm right. He watches o'er me day and night. Following him both day and night. Jesus is all the world to me. I want no better friend. I trust him now. I'll trust him when life's bleeding days shall end. Beautiful life with such a friend. Beautiful Eternal life, eternal joy, he's my friend. Well, I have enjoyed thinking those thoughts as we sang along together, and I know hope that you have. I hope that that uh, hymn might become uh, a personal testimony for all of us as we think Jesus is all the world to us because if we had the whole world and we didn't have him, what would we really have? He is all the world to us. And even though we have each other, we know that we could never do for each other what he's done for us. So we thank him for the salvation uh, he's given us and for the promise of eternal life. And until next time, let's keep on singing, for Jesus is the song in our hearts.